What do we know about these products that you hadn't already broken in the past? Yes, yeah, so the new MacBook Pro and the new Mac Mini, those were introduced today. They're available for pre-order on Apple's website, and they start shipping on January 24th, uh, so just in about a week from now. Now, these are marginal upgrades. They look identical to the previous models. The Mac Mini last rolled out in 2020, the first Mac to get the M1 chip, part of the transition away from Intel. The Mac Pro last updated at the end of 2021. Now, why are these so significant? Well, they introduced the new generation of Apple's chips. So the Mac Mini gets the same M2 chip launched in the MacBook Air and the low-end 13-inch MacBook Pro last year, but it also gets the first M2 Pro chip. That adds a little bit more horsepower on both the CPU and the GPU side. So the CPU is the chip that is for the main performance, the overall speed of the computer, while the GPU handles graphics and video editing uh, and stuff of that nature. Now the MacBook Pro also gets that same M2 Pro chip in the Mac Mini, but also a more advanced chip called the M2 Max, which essentially doubles the amount of horsepower you get on the graphics side. So that's really a high-end machine for video editors, uh, programmers, engineers and such that really need the most horsepower you can get uh, in a laptop. What uh, Caroline was alluding to, Mark, is this weekend I dropped my phone and it smashed and now I face a choice of whether to upgrade or wait. You and I talk about this behind closed doors all the time. Anyway, we digress. What Tim Cook alluded to in a tweet was Apple Silicon, right? You're just talking about it there, that the emphasis Apple's had not just on supply chain, but controlling its IP, controlling its technology. What I'm confused about is I thought that this latest gen of Mac was supposed to come out last year, 2022. Was there a delay? What happened? So there was a delay. So the M2 line first started rolling out uh, in last year. It started uh, to launch actually at the end of July. There was a delay back then because of the manufacturing facilities in China. They all got shut down for about a month. That delayed the rollout of the MacBook Air and the 13-inch uh, MacBook Pro. That, in addition to other factors regarding the chip shortage and the overall need to allocate more manufacturing to more pressing products like the iPhones and the iPads last year and the Apple Watches, meant that something had to give. And what gave was, yeah. these, was this new MacBook Pro and the Mac Mini. Those were originally supposed to roll out uh, this past October.